So scientists are warning that there might be a food shortage in the future and meats might be running out. So one of the solutions is to eat insects. Billions of people eat insects around the world and maybe we should be eating them in the UK. That's what we're going to be trying today. We've got worms and scorpions and everything that my friends at Witch and myself are going to try. So it's lunchtime, we're hungry, let's get going. So I'm joined by Tom, Rachel and Sarah who look <laughs> not that excited about eating insects. Um, they may not try all of them, but first up we're going to have some mealworms. Crispy, doesn't really taste of anything, kind of dusty. So Tom's going to try the mealworm now. Mm, it's, it is crispy, it doesn't taste of a lot. It's quite airy almost, it's like there's nothing in the middle. So Rachel, you're going to try one next. It's all right actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Crispy. I can see why it's compared to popcorn. So last but not least, we've got Sarah, who's probably the most nervous out of mm. us, I think, so. Yeah, the legs aren't too long at the moment, but wait till we move on. So, Patrick, do, um, do worms have names like Larry the Lamb? <laughs> well, it's not exactly bus kissed, but and it doesn't feel very filling, so I'm not going to. I'm sure it's not going to fill the world's food supply for me, but I can manage it. So next on the menu is chocolate-covered ants. If I just have a quick look at this, they're giant ants. They're covered in rich dark chocolate, and they contain energy-giving enzyme. Um, we're all going to try one at the same time. So everybody, pick your your favourite ant. I'm going to take the smallest. I'm going to take one with a leg sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, after no, three. Biggest, <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. three. Do you know what it tastes like? It tastes like, it's very crispy, mm. it's salty on the inside, so it's a bit like a chocolate covered pretzel. So we've got uh, crickets next, they're dried, they're covered in a Thai green curry uh, powdery mix, so everybody Pick your uh, favourite cricket. I'm definitely going for a small one this time. Yeah, they're all a bit <laughs> falling apart, these ones. Oh, I can see its eyes. Don't look at it. Okay. <laughs> I'm quite nervous about this one. Okay. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Are you going to bite it? Go. The whole one. Thing in? I'm going to eat it in two goes. Two. Two goes. On four. Three. <laughs> four. Mmm. <laughs> I can't taste any tie exactly. Prefer them to the chocolate covered ants, definitely. Okay, so we've got probably the scariest looking ones on the plate, which is the Mapani worms. I have a nice vacuum sealed packet of them here. So I've got plenty for uh, leftovers. Right, I'm gonna go first. They're massive. Oh, you can hear it. There's definitely more texture to this one. It's kind of salty, but I suppose that's probably that's the salted part of it. It tastes like really, really crispy squid or something. Oh, it's got like weird spiky bits. Uh, I'm not really enjoying this. It's a bit like seaweed taste. And I don't know if I can swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> we won't stop filming until you do. <laughs> right, I need water. Oh there, that was gross. So everybody else is going to join me in my experience of Mapani worms. Take, mm. take your uh, okay. biggest or I'm smallest. I'm going to cop out and go for that half one I found. Um, I'm just going to have one bite. I don't think I can do the whole thing. Okay. I'm just going to go for I can't it. Go for the eyes. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> it's uh, really spiky. Oh, you yeah. ready? Okay. I can't even. <laughs> that is disgusting. Mm. 
You just keep, know keep what on, you're eating. We haven't got a spit bucket here, so you're going to have to keep on eating, I'm afraid. So dry. Oh. That is probably the most disgusting thing I've had in about 10 years. I'm definitely not going to eat the rest of it, if that's OK. Too hard. You can't, you can't chew it properly. It gets stuck in your teeth. OK, so we've got one more test on the table. It's a scorpion covered in chocolate. Sadly, I'm sure they're very disappointed there's only one. So I'm going to try and eat it. I'm going to try and eat it in two goes because it, you can only just see chocolate and a bit of the spine, the uh, sting on the end, which I'm not going to eat. Actually, that's probably one of the easiest ones, and I expect it's because there's so much chocolate. So, what's the verdict on eating insects in the future? Would you rather be a vegetarian? <laughs> or? Yeah, I think so. It's, um, it's interesting because these are very much kind of snacks and party snacks. I just can't see it replacing what I do now. Yeah, not, not for me, Patrick. I think I've got a tough job selling these. Um, Perhaps hiding them as an ingredient within products might be the way to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if this kind of dried stuff is doing it for me. I don't think I'd be going out to the shops to buy them anytime soon, but um, maybe I could see them getting more popular in maybe 10, 20 years time. So eating insects definitely wasn't a hit with us. Um, whether you'd want to eat insects, that's what we want to hear. We're going to be talking about it on which conversation, so come and join the debate.